Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step-by-step -step process how we can use Insightly CRM. When you would enter Insightly CRM, you're gonna see the home and the dashboard. What you can do is to click here and switch between views. You can go recent activity, project dashboard, leads dashboard, and you would see everything what was happening. When I'm going to click on the opportunities dashboard, what you can do is, is to go to top right on actions and you can view it as a small card or just view as a medium card. This is the best view I like, <laughs> or this is the view I like. Then what you can do up on the actions, you can see the plus button and you can simply add a new task. You can new contact, new organization, new lead, opportunity, new project, send email or add a new event. We will go step by step, but first we are going to start with the contacts. So when I would click here on the contacts, you can go to top right and click new contact. Right here, you're gonna add name, first name. So let's see, and go with Marcus Stonelius. I can simply choose organization, but I don't have any, so I'm going to add a new organization for here. So straight away, I was transferred from contact to organization. I'm going to add here, company phone number and then you can simply add everything like a social media billing address shipping address you can add also dates to remember some description information tag information for tag list and you could find it by that permissions and visibility like if it's going to be visible by everyone only the record owner select a team or select an individual people save and return now we got a new organization i can simply add an email for my contact i can add a phone number mobile phone other phone assistant phone assistant name fax LinkedIn, facebook twitter and then social media and then again you have address information here like mailing address other address dates to remember, description information, tag information, and permission. The same style as in organization. Now I will click save. Right after I do it, there is going to be pop-up. I can close it or I don't need to. I can simply click again for my contact that I created and voila. Here we have our detailed information that we added. Then you can say organization, phone, email, contact owner. You're gonna see related. You're gonna see organizations here, opportunities, projects. We will create everything what we see here, notes and files, and then activity. What was actually happening <clears throat> on my contact, right? Then on the top right, you can edit the contact. You can you can change the contact image. You can delete it, clone it, change the record owner. So let's say that another salesperson would own this contact, and you can also change contact to lead. Or print this contact export it and you can add a new task new event new add activity set we will get to it so when we have the contact here we can simply click on tasks and now i can go to top right new task and i can simply add a task name task for marcus assigned to me category uh, let's say email follow-up get start meeting phone call or to do you choose that let's say email due date can be 17 of february start date 17 reminder 16 day repeat progress you can simply choose it priority medium high in progress completed You choose the status here, also the priority relate to. You can add new project or opportunity description and task visibility. Click save. And voila, here we got it. Assign to, task name. I gotta see everything here. I can actions, I can edit the task, I can complete the task, complete tasks. Clone, I can change the record owner. So that's what you can do. 
and this is how this is how you can simply create a task right what you can do is to simply go to contact let's click on our contact and i can add a new task for this contact right so you can directly also add a task so you can have like tasks without assigned or then you can simply go to to right here and add a task here so when you want to create even task everything i would recommend doing that directly in a contact then you can simply click here on leads and this is the same style you can change the grid view or kanban view and now not contacted attempted contact contact you can add a new list view if you want to and click new lead first name title organization and now lead status i can simply add go with opened attempted contact contacted user responsible it's me lead rating you can go like 1 to 10 you can really choose what is your lead rating 1 to 5 email address uh, lead rating is like how much you will literally lead email address you can add a phone mobile phone fax website industry again you add address here description tag information same style permissions let's click save and now when you got it i see it right here okay lead source contacted converted email address everything you can change the lead status to contact it right and then like let's say that i can go here and i can simply close lost and you can simply manage it and choose it as much as you want right so this is how we can simply add leads then you get opportunities here and same style you can choose the view here new opportunity opportunity name deal organization i'm going to choose the one i created now category i don't have any probability of winning let's go 80 percent forecast close day let's go 17 of february actually close date let can be 18 user responsibility is me opportunity value is that you're gonna choose which one you want and you add a bit amount let's go 10,000 you add a description here and then you add also tag list here pipeline opportunity and now stage prospecting qualification needs analysis proposal negotiation so again you choose the stage here and by who is it visible you can also choose like the opportunity value if it's going to be per hour per day per week per month per year completely up to you right click save and now voila here we got it so this is where we are and i can choose that okay we are on a new stage proposal right pretty simple or negotiation and this is quite simple then you just go again here to projects and you can simply same style create a new project project name state is not started or in progress use user responsible pipeline and now it's design develop complete again you can simply add a simple project and click save and really simple really easy as i mentioned in the beginning it's like every like the tools it's so damn simple to use now you click simple on emails and you can add a new email or you can have email templates calendar is what you can actually get in calendar and you would see what needs to be done and then you have dashboard and you can also create a new dashboard uh, what needs to be shown there and this is the dashboard that we see here and then reporting system you can simply add a new report you 
if you want to as a task report and you can simply create it and then present it in your team or by yourself so thank you very much guys for watching this was like simple walkthrough what you can do in Insightly CRM have a great day and goodbye